So, um, here is some famous people who are famous for quotes. You probably know lots of their big quotes. Uh, many are deep and used in adult diaper advertisements on billboards and such. What you probably don't know is that they said more things in their life than just those quotes that you know. Uh, my friend Charlie collected lots of these lesser known quotes from conversations with them or um, quotes that they left in their will to him. Uh, so I'm here to communicate these lesser known nuggets of gold and nuggets. And first on the list is Einstein. He was famous for being a difficult man to handshake with because he was always fidget spinning up tall tales and his quote is if it ain't fixed break it and when it's really small throw it on someone's clothes because that'll annoy them um i can only assume he means atoms they stick like those dandelions that you blow onto your child's face in a commercial next is malcolm x he was a civil rights hero from the black struggle for equality um he cleared some things up with his quote that said many people think i was a segregationist but really my main passion was putting lipstick on dolls toes next is edison uh, he was an inventor who made lots of Homer Simpson quotes at cocktail parties. Uh, his favorite was mm, 64 slices of all American footballers. I think I'm blonde. Next is Maya Angelou, a civil rights activist and author. She replied to a journalist once, The dinosaurs didn't wipe us out, so what makes you think using a third less toothpaste when I brush to save money in the long run will? Uh, next is Little John, a musician known for his depth and insight, and he said, I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. And... Frankly speaking, that quote is probably the deepest and best of any of these people. Um, then there's Emily Pankhurst, the leader of the suffragettes movement who fought to like, win women the vote. And she said on her deathbed, I said burble ra, not burn the bra. Then there's Stephen Hawking. Uh, he's a wheelchair smart guy. Uh, upon the constant question of universal laws, he said, If the universe works, then good for it, whatever. Then there's Eminem. He is an awesome guy who was an artist from 1994 to 2003. And when asked recently to describe his career now, he said, I know I'm not good anymore. Like, geez, it's obvious. Please stop coming up and reminding me I'm not good anymore at my daughter's school's fundraisers. Um, then there's the Jung sisters, the courageous Vietnamese sisters who led a revolt against some dudes that led to independence and they said at the exact same time I don't really get the whole girls bike guys bike thing they're basically the same it just seems like marketing bullshit or in Vietnamese Um, then there's Neil Armstrong, the guy from space who, um, walked. 
He said on TV once, if only my last name was different, maybe then they'd let me drive rather than just hold the blow hatch door closed. Yes, okay, yes, I'll say it, yes. Sigh, in Rod we trust. Um, finally is Leo Burdett, who was a dude at my local pub who used to eat cigarette butts to get a head rush. And um, he said, curiosity about life in all of its aspects, I think, is still the secret of great creative people. Oh, I like that one. Um, that one's good. You can quote me on that.